Mars has breakfasted again. Long drive today, very long drive. We're going a long way. We're going to try and stop at the... don't know what it's called. There's a little bitty in Reykjavik with some lovely water and whatnot. Um, it's called what? There's a list of my pack of paper. No, it's uh, just right near the town of Reykjavik. There's a lovely bit where people go jogging and stuff and there's some cool waters, cool views, big mountains and whatnot. We're going to stop there, get some time lapse first and then we're off. We're off on our epic journey. Stopping once or twice on the way. Hopefully at really cool places. Um, we'll see. Actually not as bad as yesterday. Oh, how rude! <laughs> oh, oh, I can't get any grip! <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen, how the tables have turned. I was going to swear then, but I can't, can I? Oh, can it be like? I can always beep it out or mute it. You should feel me struggling. Don't fall. Oh, she made it. <laughs> oh gosh, look what Lucy's actually remembered. I got my bath. <laughs> I can't see anything over when I talk. That's because you breathe into your glasses. I had that issue the other day. <laughs> it's nice and warm. I bet it is. It'll be much better than not having one. Let's put that away. Oh, sugar. We've come into some funky underground car park to park up because we want to get some time lapse of a bay. This bay we've seen, ooh, this bay looks really cool. Look at these lights. Disco, disco, disco. <laughs> How cool is that? There's a disco in the middle of the car park. Cool building. What cool building? How we got in here? I have no idea. <laughs> Lucy's found a hot spot. This is really nice. Can you feel the warm air coming up? Oh wow! <laughs> you actually can. Search and rescue. Thunderbird to go. <laughs> now we're leaving the disco car park. <laughs> We're at the first waterfall. So that, that there, is the first waterfall. The next one we're going to is slightly bigger. I can't remember what this is actually called, this one. Sigilinianfoss, something like that. You see all the little falls. And some funky icicles. Look, someone up there's got a drone. Probably won't be able to see it. You see the drone? You see the drone? The drone? Oh my god! How cool to bring a drone, drone and put envy. it up the top. Drone envy. Drone envy, because that's a good one, look at it. <laughs> wow, I got behind it. Ish. I'm not going down there, it's too slippery. That's sort of, there we go. It looks a bit sketchy and slippery. That's your lot. Almost out of batteries as well. Whoa! Yeah, that looks too sketchy and slippery, so this is it. This is as far as I'm going to go. That. That's impressive. camera survived a minor minor bit of spray from the last waterfall but this is the one we came to see this is the big one I have no idea if this pronunciation is correct but I'm gonna call it Skogafoss and that's it
a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than the last one. I can hear it from here. I can hear Lucy behind me shooting her vlog. I think that's her there. <laughs> I could hear her saying, we're at the big waterfall now. You can actually walk up to the top. I don't know if you're able to see them. There's some stairs about there. Ish. And you go all the way up there and up there. And there's a viewing platform there that you can go to the top. Um, that's a long ass way. We are strapped for time. Um, the next place we're going to is absolutely amazing. Not that this isn't, but I'm just saying, I haven't got time for that. <coughs> and I ain't got the legs for it either. Gone on my Scotland Hill walking days, I can tell you that. Amazing scenery, amazing location. <laughs> this waterfall's in, check this out. Pretty cool, right? Getting up close to it now. Oh, I'm actually getting some of the spray here. I don't want to get too much closer. Because at the last one, my camera got soaked when I went behind it. But I'll get you up as close as I can. Wow, this is funky. Check out behind me. Okay, I'm not getting too wet just yet. It's getting slippery though. Wait, told you. This will do. So there you go. That's Gogopos. Right there, I think, I think we're pronouncing it right. Right, talk about having a sense of foreboding. Yep, that's right over my head. Uh, sliding around, getting a little bit wet now. Wee! Woohoo! Pretty impressive. According to my completely fluent in Icelandic guide, Lucy, uh, loads of videos have been shot here, like music videos and stuff like that. Jay-Z and Beyonce did one. I'll take her word for that. Uh, other people, Lucy, who else shot videos here? Who else shot videos here? Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Got them. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, if you're a believer, you've got the Bieber fever. Anyone else? I don't know. Don't know, loads. All right, how are you? Got caught in the spray. Yeah, look at that. So I can't see anything out of my glasses. I don't know how well this is coming out on the lens. Look at the state of Lucy's lens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun though. That's an impressive waterfall. You go looking for waterfalls in Scotland and that, you see a little trickle coming off a rock. You're like, yes! Get in! <laughs> That's the shot I was looking Watch for. Yourself. <laughs> Check yourself or you wreck yourself. I will wreck myself. Not wet yourself, you half wit. Wreck. I'm gonna. Okay. Anyways, so that's Skogafoss, we think. That's how you pronounce it. About to do the that Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> Quick pit stop to um, stretch my legs and rest my arms. We've been going non stop for miles. Uh, we've checked on the map. We don't think it's too much further, but that's like, you know, another hour of this. And this is literally this road for miles there's been basically nothing else on it and look at the landscape behind me and then look there's a glacier there in front of the car it's quite flat that's because this is just the beginning of it. This is planet Earth. No, it doesn't. It feels like we're on Miller's planet. In what's the name of the film? Interstellar. Interstellar. I feel like I'm on Miller's planet. It just feels amazing. This is what I thought Iceland was going to be like. Look at that sun. It's just, it's just like another world. Still, it's nearly four o'clock. It gets dark relatively early around here, and we're not here yet. And there's about another four and a half, five hours that way. Let's get a race and we're going that way. Lucy's vlogging. <laughs> this is so surreal, the both of us doing this, it's really weird. I have no idea what the drive's gonna, back's going to be like, it's going to be dark. That's what it's going to be like. It's going to be pitch black. Oh, you never know. You never know, it might see the Northern Lights, depends on whether it clears up or not. Apparently the best time's three in the morning. Lucy's got designs on us going out at three in the morning, coming up. Yeah, I get it. But our flight's quite 
well it's tomorrow morning is what it is and we've got to take the car back refuel it tidy it all the rest of it um so we'll see oh, it don't take long to get cold out here um, this is an unscheduled stop um, for no other reason really other than than that <laughs> my god oh my god I've been to glaciers I've been to, I've been to a glacier in um, New Zealand called Franz Joseph and I have never seen blue ice on a glacier like that. This place is incredible. Check this out. Jeez, problem is, it's pure ice underfoot. So I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near it. <laughs> I love that. Of course, this is one way of getting around the ice problem. A tiny little dot. Right there. That's a seal. Either that or it's a nut or in a wetsuit. Probably a seal. That's how uh, you get across the ice without falling over. Not very efficient. There you go. No forty over. Comes loose. Wow. Like a boss. Well that bit's not slippery. That's told everyone else to try to get across that bit. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> that bit's not slippery. Right, where I want to get is down there. But to do it, I've got to go down that. Walking in the footsteps of those gone before you. Always somebody knew a better way, particularly than me. Huh. That went largely without a problem. This place is incredible though, right? Look at these weird blue icebergs, man. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. Look at these crazy guys. Just waiting for one to go in. I count four seals. There's three guys over that way, and one guy directly behind me over there. He's just gone under. There he is. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. Oh, I've lost count. I've lost count. Crazy seals. Everyone's really quiet. <clears throat> Lucy's shooting stills behind me. She's one of that lot, possibly right there. There's a Norwegian lady who keeps looking at me weird. I think she's wondering every time I vape and there's loads of smoke comes out, or vapor comes out, freaks her out a little bit. That's her. Right there. I don't think she's seen sub and vaping before. I'm surprised I haven't had more weird looks to be honest. I haven't seen a single other person out here vaping. Look at Pathfinder Lucy. made it just way we come and check out this beach which is the other side of the road to the mad lake with the glaciers in it um there's some really cool looking ice man it's like clear and we're going to stick the lights behind it see what happens it's just like weird volcanic sand ash kind of stuff check out some of, check out some of this ice
is literally lumps of clear ice. That is just insane, look at it. I'm going to be shooting the rest of this vlog with you attached to an actual full on tripod. Gorillapod was giving me the amp, it's too small. Not getting enough done with it, plus I'm going to take some stills, so there we are. Still, after giving me the amp, I found a use for it. It can hold the light that we want to put behind the see-through ice. So there we are. After winding me up no end, I found a use for the house of Trindle. How cool does that look though? Lucy's doing a long exposure stuff here with lights in the, uh, behind the cool ice. And I'm hunting around in my pockets going, I'll take my glasses off to take some pictures. What the hell have I done with them? Observe. <laughs> what an absolute fuck. <laughs> some of the pictures I took come out sick though with the light behind the see-through ice. Looks really good, I'm so pleased. Look at this place. I mean, those icebergs in that lake that we were in, you can just about see one over there. I don't know if you better see it on this lens. They come out of that, they carve off the glacier, come down under that bridge, and just float off out into sea, or get broken up. And then the smashed up bits end up on this beach. It's just incredible. Iceland is an incredible place. And if you're into imagery, photography, cinematography, anything. Anything where stuff's pretty and you like to record it. Come to Iceland, especially in the winter. It is astonishing. And, if you were so inclined, you could surf it. I'm telling you now, you can surf that. If you're into that. Be a bit chilly. Look at that. This lens don't do it justice, but they are some big breakers, man. There's some tunnels some tube surfing to be done out here, I'm telling you. This lens ain't doing it justice, but seriously, if you live in Hawaii and you can stand the cold, who knows? You're a bit sideways. That's alright. Sideways I can live with. <laughs> yeah. That's us done at the glacier. Lagoon. Lagoon. I can't see myself, so I don't know how close I am. I don't know what it looks like. That's fine. That's fine. You're going to break your leg. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's, that's done at the clay ceiling. It's not fine that I'm going to break my leg. Um, and the incredible ice block beach. Um, is it called Diamond Beach or something? Something like that. Something like that. It's actually getting dark. Um, and we've got a four and a half, five hour trip back to Reykjavik. So that's the end of today's vlog. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.